Hi everyone, it's Momo again. So let's just do part two of that Kirori Tori haul that Miss Archangeli picked up for me in Japan on her recent trip to Japan. Um, I, if you saw the first part of the video, you would have seen the unboxing and the little dress up of this little guy. Oops. And this is the release that came out last year around September for Kirori Tori Land. That was a special pop-up at Tokyo Station. This is just a little pamphlet that came with it. So we're just gonna hope that these cute little outfits that she picked up for me also will fit on this plush. So we're just gonna try. And if you wanna see how these outfits fit on this little dude, he can you can see his outfits on the previous video. Um, let's try this one. Um, I don't know, some kind of Cheku outfit. <laughs> Look at that, it's so cute. My little pom pom, knitted pom pom hat. I've seen them release these before and I thought it was just kind of strange I'm like you can play dress up with you know Kiroi Tori but normally he's already dressed up in outfits when I get any of the plushes so I, it never occurred to me to ever buy any of them but since they picked up this special edition set for me I mean it's a good opportunity to Play around and see. So this particular outfit is a nice checkered plaid, cute little button details, and it secures by Velcro. I guess it will fit this guy. And there's no elastic or anything for the hat, but you can see it's knitted. Very nice details. So the little pom pom that's probably just glued on. Oh my gosh, look, and there's a little hole so that you can attach the keychain. So this keychain came with this dude in this particular set. I just taken it off because there's no point. Oh my gosh, and I guess you can hang him with it. So cute. That would also help so then you wouldn't lose the hat. Because I think if you just display it, then you just kind of knock it over back and then just, you know, fly away. Just get like that, maybe. Put it on any of the ones in the back. <laughs> so this outfit's really cute. You know, it's really nicely finished on the inside. It's lined. So she got me four outfits in total, so let's just try them all on. This is probably from the cafe, the muffin cafe collection. And um, oh, I can read his apron. <laughs> I mean, I could probably try reading out the Kavakana, but it just might take a bit longer for me to try to figure out what it's trying to say. So that's the outfit here, the little apron, little hat, and I'm assuming this piece is the hair? <laughs> Sometimes I wonder what the designers are thinking about when they come up with these ideas. I mean, that's always interesting. The Muffin Cafe series had a um, Kiroi Tori dressed up as Einstein, so. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cute by itself, even without the headgear. So I'm a, I think they all will have that detail where there's the hole in the top so you can attach that like, keychain adjustment. Um, and same with here. Oh, look at this little hat and his little hair because you know you have to have the hair sticking out. Boop. The hair is a bit crooked. Or is that just me and <laughs> the placement? I, maybe the hair is a bit of nonsense, I would say. I think just like this would be really cute. 
He looks like he'd work at like an ice cream parlor. <laughs> so that's the second one. It's good to know that these are versatile, where you can just hang them off your backpack as a keychain. This set is, um, is it like a chestnut, maybe? <laughs> I wish I knew. So all of these retail for, I believe, 950 yen, which is not cheap or expensive. It's probably around $10 US right now. And that'd be what, $13 Canadian? Can get a bit pricey. <laughs> okay, so this is the hair. Kind of reminds me of Rock Lee from Naruto. <laughs> if only it was black. Oh, this little trench coat is super cute though. Little, little buttons. Nothing outstandingly special but a big patch of velcro i'm guessing this is the overcoat oh if only it was like a, a deer stalker hat he'd look like sherlock holmes if you just like, didn't like <laughs> this way <laughs> he's like sherlock holmes i'll just do that for now honestly i'm not sure what this outfit is i mean this could be the hair and that's just a little hat and it's just a little fall outfit. I mean, if you know what this says, you can leave a comment in the description below. And let me know what this outfit is. Like little hats I have and different hair. So that's the inside. It's lined really nicely with the little Rilakkuma tag. And here's the last one. So he's gonna dress up like Rilakkuma. This is also 950 yen. And let's see. Oh, just a side note, same with the last set. Also, there's a hole on the top of the hat. So you could put in that keychain attachment. I said adjustment earlier. Oops. <laughs> so this is the little real Kuma outfit. And he kind of looks like a, a fox the way that the ears are shaped. Maybe it's just the way that it's sewn and put in the packaging. Also cute little zipper detail and little tail. I mean, how is this going to work? So same thing here. He's got a little hole for that keychain attachment. And, you know, isn't this too big for this guy? Like, he's going to be swimming in it. His arms are in the way. <laughs> oh, you know what? It's not even for Kiritori. I just realized on the packaging. I'm like... <laughs> shows for Karila Kuma dressed up in this cute little Rila Kuma poncho but as you can see I did some MacGyvering and uh, Kiroi Tori is in a very big uh, Rila Kuma robe dress I mean it works just the same almost right I mean if you're just gonna hang it like a keychain without his bum tag sticking out. I mean, it's still cute. Oh. oh, here, let me, if I poke it around the ears a bit, so it looks more like a bear instead of a fox. Oh, okay, so maybe this one's a little bit of a dime. Not, it's not meant for a Kirore Dori. I don't even think I have a small Kurila Kuma that this could fit on, but it's still very cute. So yeah, we have a new wardrobe for him. Um, 
you know? I think, honestly, my favorite outfit is still this one. That's my little cotton candy. Um, mainly because I'm not sure about this poncho. It's kind of strange. It's like if he got a cold or something. <laughs> so, I'll just dress up this one again. I believe there's many selections of these outfits that you can buy at the Rilakkuma store. They're not so often found here. And here he is with a little cotton candy. And that's it. That's his new little wardrobe. Thanks for watching everyone and have a great day. Bye!